I, first of all, I love your entire, you're stunning. And thank you for taking the time to talk to us. How, how excited are you? Yeah. Beyond words. No. Beyond words. Yeah. Well, it's um. I mean, honestly, I'm like, I'm trying to like sit and be present in it, but uh, it'll probably all sink in in like about an hour or so. I'll probably start crying when I'm watching the, you know, the episode. I'll be a mess later when it all like really lands. But I, uh, I, I couldn't put on a scale how excited you're holding it together perfectly. Yeah. You, you would never know. <laughs> how how did you prepare for your role, both you know physically, mentally? So I uh, notoriously kind of have like a very limited process. Like I'm. Oh, I feel okay. Chaos, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> These pink rugs. Um, but prepping prepping for my role, um, I like I had a whole Pinterest board for Lydia like a whole like aesthetic board for like the kind of person that she was um i definitely like did her birth chart her astrology birth chart you have to because i mean because you come on to. yeah uh and then you know my process is kind of like thinking of someone who i know in my life that i'm essentially just doing an impression of like i just like acting to me is like just doing impressions of a bunch of people i know because that's really what it is. Does, it, does your character do a lot of like singing and dancing? Pardon? Does your character do a lot of singing and dancing? Um, uh, there was definitely a lot of dancing. I, I have one uh, duet with Ari, and um, that was incredible. I'm not a, I'm not like an exceptionally strong singer or anything, so it was like it was it was really scary for me. But um, it was. Uh, you know, I felt kind of put on the spot. I definitely felt like I had to, I was like crash course, you know, singing lessons. I'd taken singing lessons when I was a teenager, but um, it was uh, definitely like power hour on the singing lessons. Uh, but it was getting into the studio. I, I recorded with um, Simone Torres, who was our audio engineer for, for the song that I was on. And, and she was so wonderful. She made me feel so welcome. And, and um, yeah, it was a really beautiful experience. We can't wait to see this. I'm, I, I am, I'm just thrilled beyond words. Like you said, beyond words. Yeah, there's I can't, no, there's no cannot scale. fathom. Yeah. Is, there, is there any one specific, you know, like scene or moment that you are really excited for fans to see? Yeah, there's a couple, yeah. but if I had to choose one, uh, they're either in episode five or six. Uh, you know, I can't really tell you what they are. I've been hearing, I've been hearing a lot about episode six. It's there's crazy. episode six is pretty, is pretty fun. It's pretty wild. It's a bit of a roller coaster. You know, I feel like episode six is where it starts to get a little bit more dramatic. You know, we we, we love drama. We get into the, yeah, yeah, we get into a little bit of drama. Um, so I feel like that's what happens around episode six. There's a scene that I, you know I'm very excited about um, about seeing in episode six for sure. And then um, there's a number in episode five that I may or may not be exceptionally excited for. There we go. Episode five. Episode five and six. Those are my those are my faves. I'm not gonna lie. Episode five. Exactly 15 minutes into it. I feel like it's like more like 20. <laughs> Maybe 25. You heard it here first. <laughs> 25 minutes to episode five. I'm telling you. And how excited was your family for you? They were pretty hyped. I would say like, you know, my, my mom, I started acting as five. So, uh, you know, I've been doing it since I was a very, very little kid. My mom has seen me through it. And so, you know, my mom obviously gets very excited as well. But, you know, she's like, she's like, oh, that's great. That's excellent. That's like that's that's wonderful, but she's like so going at it from like you know we've had exciting opportunities before. Maybe it's maybe it won't be as exciting. Like she's very like cautious and like cautiously optimistic, which is great. But kind of the voice of reason, absolutely. But then you know I think but then tonight you know I sent her some photos that I had taken like before the red carpet and pink carpet, sorry. And uh, I think now is when she's like, oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, you know, families. filming's over, you can kind of like relax yeah, now, right? And sink let into it, it, let it land, yeah. yeah. So, right before I like got on my, my flight yesterday, my, my family was like, that's when they were all like, it's really so, cute. so excited. And I feel so supported and loved. Oh, that's, so. that's amazing. So, I'm sure you've gotten this question a million times. Favorite character from Grease 1? From Grease 1. Um, 
I mean, I would have to do a rewatch to like see all the secondary characters, but in terms of pink ladies, it's Rizzo. For sure. Yeah. She's, yeah. Just, she's a baddie. How are you today? She's a baddie. They, they, they all are. Yeah. I they love I love them all. Any any lady in pink I love. Girl boss movie of the century. <laughs> We're so excited to see you. Episode 5 and 6. You heard it here. <laughs>